Welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 most expensive items bought by billionaires. So before starting, please like this video, and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Whether you believe it philosophically or not, money and wealth have always ruled the globe, and they have done so from ancient times. Individuals with significantly more wealth than the vast majority of the people have always existed in civilization, and with that much riches, they have nearly always chosen to live exceedingly extravagant lifestyles. The very wealthiest persons in society form their social class, known as the billionaire class, in 2016, and it is such a small group that there are just over 1,800 confirmed members of the billionaire club in a globe of over 7 billion people. There is a widespread belief, particularly in recent years, that all billionaires are greedy individuals who waste money on costly and often unneeded items simply because they have more riches than any one person should have in a lifetime. True, there are billionaires like that, but there are also billionaires who donate significant sums of money to charities and other humanitarian groups to aid the poor. That said, whether a billionaire is a jerk or a wonderful person, it doesn't change the reality that he or she spends insane amounts of money on items that ordinary people could never buy. The following is a list of the 10 most costly purchases made by billionaires in history. 10. A submarine. Versions of the submarine have existed since the 17th century, but it was not until the First World War that the underwater craft began to be widely used. Traditionally, we associate submarines as a part of a country's naval power, but many submarines are in fact used by civilians in order to do things like scientific research, salvage operations, and deep sea or seafloor. Exploration James Cameron has directed some of the most iconic movies in cinema history, including Titanic and Avatar, and because of these movies he possesses a net worth of almost $1.8 billion. What many people may not know about Cameron though, is that he enjoys marine biology and going on deep sea diving expeditions, which is why he bought his own one-man operated submarine to take out whenever he wants. The submarine that he bought is known as the Deep Sea Challenger, and it is a good thing that Cameron is a highly successful Hollywood director, because a submarine like that costs around $1.5 million to buy. 9. A parade. Everyone enjoys a parade, partly because they can be highly entertaining, which is why there are various parades held around North America, including the annual Thanksgiving procession. However, there is one type of parade that only a few communities get to see each year, one dedicated only to championship-winning sports teams. Every year, a championship parade is held in a city where an MLB, NHL, NFL, or NBA club has won a championship, and these parades are always exciting for the athletes, fans, and team owners. One of these owners is billionaire Mark Cuban, who paid roughly $1.2 million for the team's parade after the Dallas Mavericks won the NBA championship for the first time in 2011. The parade's expenses included a $90,000 bottle of champagne for the sportsmen, as well as an additional $20,000 tip for the parade's crew. 8. Sunglasses. The sun is necessary for all life on Earth, yet despite its importance, Many of us are irritated by it due to two factors, the heat it produces and the sunlight itself when it directly strikes our eyes. Both of these annoyances have been solved by human ingenuity, with air conditioning taking care of the heat and sunglasses taking care of the often painful glare. People can buy sunglasses for a reasonable price, but we are sometimes drawn to specific brands and wind up spending a few hundred dollars on a pair of sunglasses that provide roughly the same level of protection from the sun. Because we are obsessed with brand names, some corporations make high-end accessories such as sunglasses for the wealthiest members of society. Nothing makes a millionaire feel more like a billionaire than wearing a pair of $383,609 sunglasses on their face. Dolce & Gabbana has the DG2027B sunglasses, which have a gold frame. 7. A complete skyscraper. Almost everything you buy loses value over time, with a car being the most obvious example, yet a person's property almost always increases in value. The majority of people who own property have one house or condo, as well as another little location they may visit when they have time off from work. The wealthiest people in society, on the other hand, 
not only live in gigantic homes on large plots of land, but they also own and create many large living areas. Makesh Ambani, an Indian millionaire, built his 27-story building, complete with a movie theater, parking garage, helipads, and a real-life winter simulation room. This building, which employs roughly 600 people, cost $1 billion to build, which may seem like an unthinkable amount of money to spend on real estate, but Ambani has a net worth of over $21 billion, so he is financially secure. 6. A pair of heels. Most of us own at least one pair of shoes, as well as at least one other type of footwear because walking outside in footwear is considerably more comfortable and safer for our feet than walking barefoot. There are many different types of footwear, such as the standard running shoe, cleats, boots, heels, and even sandals, all of which are reasonably priced. There are, however, specific brands of designer footwear that cost a lot of money, such as certain Air Jordan sneakers and Louis Vuitton heels, and for those who think Louis Vuitton heels are the most expensive, you'd be wrong. There are heels by Christopher Michael Shelley's that cost nearly $220,000 a pair, and the reason they're so expensive is that they're made out of diamonds. 5. A yacht. For thousands of years, people have used boats for fishing and travel, and in 2016, many people still own and use boats, largely for hobbies such as fishing and sailing, or as vacation and party vessels. The larger the boat, like with most things in life, the more expensive it is, which is why most people have a small boat that does not require a lot of maintenance. However, for the world's wealthiest individuals, maintenance costs are usually not an issue, which is why they are willing to spend a lot of money on enormous, luxurious, and extremely expensive yachts. Former Google CEO Eric Schmidt owns one of these yachts, which he spent roughly $72.3 million for and called the Oasis right afterward. This yacht, for instance, can accommodate up to 19 guests and features a pool, helipad, and gym that can be turned into a disco. 4. A shark. The shark has been swimming around in the world's oceans in some form or another for more than 420 million years, and for much of that time, it has been considered one of the Earth's deadliest and biggest predators. Sharks are much smaller now than they were millions of years ago, but some species can still grow to be quite huge, and because of this, people are willing to pay top cash for one of these beasts. The tiger shark may grow up to 16 feet long, and in 2007, Stephen Cohen, pictured, a hedge fund manager with a net worth of over $12 billion, purchased the body of an already dead tiger shark that measured 14 feet long. The body of this shark is kept in an alcohol tank to avoid deterioration, and if you were Cohen, you would want to preserve the shark in excellent shape as well, especially if you spent $8 million for it. 3. A private jet. Every year, millions of people travel to various locations all over the world, using a variety of modes of transportation, the most common of which is, without a doubt, the airplane. Surprisingly, when ordinary people are asked to name some of the things they would buy if they suddenly became a millionaire or billionaire, a private plane is almost always included. The reason for this is simple. Unlike passenger airlines, a private jet allows you to go wherever you want, whenever you want, without having to buy tickets, wait in lines, or check bags. Many billionaires own private planes, and Russian billionaire Alisha Usmanov has one of the world's largest and most expensive planes. Usmanov purchased an Airbus A340-300, which is Russia's and Europe's largest private jet, and he paid a steep price for it, as the Airbus is presently valued between $350 and $500 million. 2. A hairstyle. People like to get rid of excess and unsightly body hair, but that isn't the only sort of hair that we look after. Because the hair on our heads is so vital to us, we wash it frequently and cut it every few months, either ourselves or by a professional. If you go to a barber or stylist, a typical haircut will cost you under $30, but some people are ready to pay over $100 or more for a haircut, and then there are those like the Sultan of Brunei, who for some reason decides to pay a stupidly huge sum of money to have his hair cut. The Sultan, who is one of the world's wealthiest people with a net worth of over $20 billion, has his hair cut by stylist Ken Modesto, who flies 7,000 miles to his house, and each haircut costs him over $20,000. 1. A clock. In 2016, 
Most individuals tell time using their computer, cell phone, or one of the many other electronic and digital devices at their disposal. Yet, during the majority of human civilization, people had to tell time using numerous ways, which at one point only included the sun and moon. The clock, like the sundial, hourglass, pendulum clock, pocket watch, and wristwatches, and electronic clocks of today, is one of humanity's oldest creations. Some people spend a lot of money on clocks, and in the case of Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos, he's spending an absurd amount of money to help build an enormous clock. This clock is being built inside of a cave in Texas, and it is expected to tell time for at least a 10,000-year period, and if that alone was not impressive, then you will be pleasantly surprised to know that Bezos has spent $42 million on this clock. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go and also press the bell icon so that you can get notification about our new videos. If it was helpful then share it with others. Thanks for watching the video.